The Spectre, 13.3. Sebastian wrote this up uh, for PCPro.com. They're claiming, and man, just stare at that picture for a second. I, I, I do not hear the siren song of ever thinner electronics, but that looks like an absolutely, utterly impressive piece of engineering. Um, yep. 10.4 millimeters. That's as thin as a AAA battery, not using a Core <laughs> M uh, processor, not using a mobile system on a chip, a full Intel Core i5 or Core i5 mobile processor, 2.45 pounds, aluminum and carbon fiber, a recessed piston hinge, hand polished, folds into itself to enable ultra thin 10.4 millimeter profiles. Do you Basically, see that in the? Do you, I mean, do, I actually think that hinge is really interesting. If you look yeah, at was, the at the top picture, it's. I don't know how that. I don't know how that curves back under, the inside. Does it? Because it, it, it's got to be one solid piece, right? It's not going to like collapse a little bit or something like that, or kind of unfurl. But it looks really cool. I guess yes. it, it is it is a stunning piece of uh, a engineering and B uh, style design, uh, you know, period. And the fact that it's coming from HP uh, is particularly impressive. I don't really you know, I mean, HP tends to I, I, I love the logo. I love the style. I love the design. I'm very, 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 very curious to feel what the keyboard feels like, because keyboards yeah. have been problematic on every you know, sort of, oh, not every, but darn near every uh, ultra-thin laptop has been meh as far as the keyboard goes. And I think keyboards are kind of critical when you're talking about, uh, you know, laptops. Um, the uh, Intel Hyperbaric Cooling System, uh, you know, which has been floating around for, I guess, six years now, six, seven years now. Um, but it's a very interesting concept where they're basically sucking cool air in and shoving hot air out from both sides of the of the design. It's amazing right. when you scroll down below that, you're basically looking at the bulk of the computer. The computer parts of the computer are all pretty much contained right there. And Ryan, if you look at the upper left and upper right, uh, to the upper left and upper right of those fans, mm -hmm. uh, I think you're seeing some of what's going on with that hinge design, that piston hinge design. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's going down through the depth, uh, to the, the entire depth of the uh, system there. Yeah. Possibly. Okay. I'd be really, you know, it's, it's man, it, it's an interesting looking piece of engineering. Uh, and HP certainly has the wherewithal to engineer something uh, that will not fall apart. Um, you know, the specs are good. Eight gigabytes of RAM, which doesn't really excite me too much. I would prefer 16 gigabytes, um, you know, but 256 uh, or 512 gigabyte PCI SSDs. Uh, so it'll be a little bit slower than NVMe uh, versions. Three USB ports, uh, a Type-C port, two Thunderbolt, an audio jack, um, 2.45 pounds, starting at uh, $1,170 for a 256-gigabyte Core i5 system. And again, these these are nice processors, Core i5-6200U or the Core i7-6500U. Um, no ship date announced. No Wi-Fi standards released, uh, no information on the memory specs, other than that it will be uh, 8 gigabytes. Um, so if you're a superpower user, this may not be the laptop for you. Um, I want to say uh, Gordon Ma Ung uh, got hands-on with it over at PC World. Um, you know, the he, there's some more close-up pictures of there. Uh, you know, essentially they what they did is is they made super thin hinges and put pistons on them to apply pressure is what they're saying. Um, it's a really good looking piece of hardware and I'm really curious to see how it holds up in the real, in the real universe. But, uh, man, way to go HP. You get yep, some. Agreed. <laughs> Looks good. What do you think about the new logo or the reused logo? I like it. It's very yeah, I do too. Uh, stylish. It's yeah. aggressive. It's aggressive. I guess probably the word I'd use for it. So, yeah, Cool.